there. Thanks for tuning in. Got a Spectrum pickup bundle for you today. I've already disposed of some of the uh, wrapping there, as you can see. And here it is in this box. This is a medium sized bundle, I'd say. Uh, I think 30 odd, 30 to 40, 50 odd games, something like that. Um, I won the auction on eBay for £28 or something. Paid a few quid postage, so at 33, 34 quid, I don't think it was too bad a pickup. Quite a few games I hadn't heard of, quite a lot I hadn't already got that will go in the collection and a few doubles, but uh, that's the way, unfortunately, it always is with these job lots, of course. So let's just have a look what we've got. Here's some of the uh, paper here. Quite a good variation of um, medium sized games such as these, larger games, and uh, the single cassettes which are in this um, briefcase here. So, first of all, we got Toyota Celica, or Celica, wherever you pronounce it, Rally, GT Rally. Looks like a Boots sticker on there saying it was 10.99 is now reduced to 2.75. Uh, it's quite a late era game. This I was never into driving games particular, but it looks quite good from Gremlin. I believe there's even uh, Spectrum screenshots along with Anderson screenshots. So it'd be quite interesting to load that up and give it a go. When's it from? 1991. So yeah, I think I'd moved on from Spectrum by then. Super Soccer by Imagine. Already have this, but it's not a patch on Match Day, which was by Ocean, who uh, owned Imagine by this point, of course. Like all these games, one thing that did attract me to all this was it, all the games looked in really good condition, and they are as well, having had a brief look at them. This one I haven't got, and I've been after for, for a while, Way of the Tiger, or The Way of the Tiger, again by Gremlin Graphics, so nice to have a couple of uh, nice Gremlin games here that I haven't got already. Uh, Triple Scroll, really nice, te technically very impressive game this by uh, Gremlin, it was a pretty good beat-em-up as well, from what I remember. California Games, not such a good game unfortunately. Outrun. Now I haven't got Outrun, unbelievably. I remember having it back in the day. I didn't think it was that bad actually, the Spectrum version. There's a screenshot of it there. Um, it did kind of its best with the limitations. Obviously all the other versions looked a bit nicer. It came with, uh, if you see there's two cassettes, and it's in lovely condition as, is, as are all of these games and it came with um, a cassette with the uh, soundtrack of the arcade game on it which was quite nice to play in the background while you played your uh, very quiet Spectrum version. Winter Olympiad 88, never heard of this one by Tynesoft. It's obviously a game riding on the coattails of uh, Epix's Winter Winter Games, I think it was. Um, five stunning events and very white, as you might expect. They sold a million three. Now these were quite good compilations, but by the time this one came out in 86 or 87, as you can see, these games, although they were great sellers, were starting to um, starting to look a bit old. Uh, Fighter Pilot was from 83, Ghostbusters 84, Rambo the year before, or 85. And the newest one, which was Kung Fu Master from 86, was pretty much terrible as well. So I suppose for a tenner, if you hadn't had any of these games already, it wouldn't be too bad value. But uh, I think most of us had uh, found those games into our collection one way or the other by then. Acrojet by Microprose. Interestingly, before Microprose went for the larger boxes, this is just in a double jewel, and uh, it um, looks a fairly decent simulation. Is that a Spectrum screenshot? No, Commodore 64. No idea what that's like. Be interested to try that. Infiltrator, the game that rocked America. I remember when this came out, there was a load of, uh, uh, of uh, promotional stuff coming out from US Gold about this. Uh, if I remember correctly, a review I read in Crash said that it was too tough really to be any good. Uh, but uh, it did look very nice, or at least the uh, the screenshots they've got there did. Now the compilation. Now this is one of the better early compilations on the Specy, because three of these games, Mikey, Hypersports, and uh, Ping Pong, all got crash smashes. While Green Beret and Yar Kung Fu were pretty highly rated as well. Did Yar Kung Fu get crash smash? I can't remember, but it certainly would have been in the 80s anyway for both of Green Beret and that game. So yeah, pretty solid compilation that was. What else have we got here? Gary Lineker's Superstar Soccer. Already got that, so I don't know what I'll be doing with that, but I won't be keeping it. Star Wars. Now, this is Domark's official adaptation of the arcade game, which came out in 1987, four years after the arcade game. Um, it was okay, it didn't have any sound, and to be honest, 3D Star Strike, which had been released by Real Time in 84, kind of uh, did it a little bit better. Uh, it wasn't official, of course, but I believe it sold all right now for Domark. A Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles game, uh, adaptation of the coin-op. Uh, it's got the poster in it, I believe, and well, that's about it. But like all these games, it's in pretty neat condition. The Light Corridor. Now, this is first of two Infogrames came, games here. And as you can see, it comes in a slightly bigger box. If I compare it to this standard double jewel, it's like 
bit and a half again, or a bit and a third again, which is quite interesting. Never heard of this game, so I'd be quite interested in uh, playing it. I believe it's not exactly common. Uh, it looks very similar to a game I remember called Room 10 by CRL. Looks very similar to that, in fact. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Anyway, that's the light corridor. I don't know where those screenshots are from. Amstrad, it says that. And the second Infogrames game is Weltris, which was the sequel to Tetris by Alex Pajnitov. I think there's even a picture in there. There, there he is. Uh, never played this either. I seem to remember. Was it on the Mega Drive or something as well? I can't remember. But anyway, I'd be quite interested to play that. Adaptation of the slot car racing thing, Scalectrix. Not sure how that works, but be interesting to see. And Summertime Specials, which is a compilation by US Gold. Uh, quite interesting this because it's got three, I would say, decent games on it in Trantor, World Class Leaderboard and Rygar, and the other three maybe not so much. I think Solomon's Key was alright actually, but I'm not too sure on the other two. But yeah, that's in the same size box as um, the two Infogrames games. Um, interesting compilation, never seen that one before. And we'll just skip past that, but what we've got here is the Cartoon Collection. Now this is by Codemasters and it has five games. You've got the original Dizzy, CJ's Elephant Antics, Slightly Magic, Spike in Transylvania, and Seymour Goes to Hollywood. So some very highly rated games there, uh, and what looks like quite a nice compilation from, um, from Codemasters. It's probably absolutely brilliant. Dual, double jewel that I missed here, we've got Classic Conflicts, the war game series, Battle of Britain. So I've never heard of any of this, uh, or obviously I've heard of Battle of Britain, but um, PSS, oh there you go, there's the actual publisher on the back there, PSS. So looks like a flight sim strategy game. I think we've got some more compilations here, yes we've got The Biz, again reduced by what we think is Boots, and you've got Batman the Cape Crusader, R-Type, Operation Wolf and Double Dragon. Now although there's only four games on this, all four of these games are pretty well rated, apart from maybe Double Dragon which wasn't great, but you've got some pretty good games there, so and quite a... Um, a good variety as well because you've got uh, an action adventure, two shoot 'em ups, and a uh, beat 'em up or a uh, a brawl or whatever you call that type of game. Uh, this is more like it from Micropose, Silent Service. I've already got this, but it's always nice to see one of these big boxes. Micropose's Silent Service. And the last compilation is Arcade Force 4, which I think is US Gold, and uh, this isn't too bad. Roadrunner. And Indiana Jones weren't great. Metrocross and Gauntlet and the Deeper Dungeons would have been quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of gameplay there for your ten quid or whatever how much that was. And then finally for this part, before we get on to the single games, we've got a Kempston joystick interface, nicely boxed there. It looks in pretty decent condition. So let's get this out and have a look what we've got on here. Very nice bespoke tape briefcase. Have a quick look through these just to see what uh, is inside. I don't think there's anything too dramatic. Um, you've got a lot of these type of games. Haunted Hedges with Waxworks, which I think were given away with some Spectrums. Uh, first Pass the Post, which is uh, from, the, from Cult. We did a lot of sports types games. We've got BMX Simulator by Codemasters. Uh, oh, there's a Firebird game here, Happiest Days of Your Life, which I think is quite common, but I haven't got, so it's quite good. Uh, Ace by Game Busters. Uh, I believe this is Tomahawk. Yep, Tomahawk by um, Digital Installation, complete with lens lock. Uh, uh, backup tape there by the look of it. A uh, couple of cover tapes. Chicken Chase by Firebird. School Days, re released by Alternative. Some more re releases here. Uh, this is a full price game, I believe. Interestingly, it has both the Spectrum and the uh, Commodore 64 version on it. 911TS. Uh, by Elite, presumably some sort of racing game. And then we've got Feud and uh, some more backups. No, is that a backup? Yep, that looks like it. Uh, this one just says games on it. Games, games, games. What games have we got on here? Armageddon Man, Flash Gordon, Deviant, Action Reflex, Amarot, Motos, uh, Ski Simulator, Shadowfire, World Games, that looks like. Ace of Aces and Joe Blade. So, quite a good selection there. Uh, for your money. So there you go, there's my latest pickup. Thanks for watching, and I'll post another video soon. Cheers.